Welcome to another Tech This Out video brought to you by the Ignited Labs at Mary Lou Fulton Teachers College here at Arizona State University. Um, today, we're just going to briefly go over another way to use Google Slides aside from making um, a professional presentation or something of that sort. So um, this method um, is useful for organizing major ideas, major pieces of literature, um, or really uh, any other way that you'd like to brainstorm your ideas when you are in the process of writing a paper, for example. So here I have a couple of ways that I like to use this. Um, the first one being organizing the flow of a paper. If you are an individual like myself who um, sort of messes with the title a couple times before I decide on something, um, I'll just list that here so I can easily keep track of it before I actually officially put anything on the document. Um, I can also organize my major ideas here. Um, I can say, you know, I want my introduction and this is exactly what is appropriate in the introduction. Sometimes that's very useful if a professor specifically states um, what should be included there compared to some other section of your paper. Um, it's also worth noting that you can include uh, different shapes. So you can use a line, you can use um, arrows and those are all available um, right up top where we can see we have our different shapes, we have our arrows, our callouts and equations, whatever is appropriate for what you are working on. Um, if you're doing something more literature based, you might come up with possible research questions based on the gaps that you find in the literature that you're reading, um, as well as just going over a major topic. Maybe you yourself are prepping for some presentation and need to know um, a specific topic inside and out. You might use this um, to go over some of those major ideas. The next area are broad claims. So um, if you're writing a paper and you know that um, you want to decide exactly what you're arguing, what um, stance you're taking, if it's argumentative, um, this can be pretty useful. So the last major component that I want to quickly go over is the use of color coding your slides. So if you're doing uh, something literature based specifically, this is super useful. Um, I'll use the three basic colors, a green, a yellow, and like a reddish color um, to determine where I am in terms of the literature that I'm trying to go over. So if I know that I need to collect a total of 10 articles, um, I might make 10 of these reddish slides, um, knowing those are really just placeholders. So I know that something needs to go there eventually. Um, on the other hand, I'll use green. If I um, got to go over everything, I'll you know leave little notes for myself in, in shapes that can be visible from uh, this wider view. Um, and then when I click here, um, the three major things that I pretty much always use are these, uh, the keywords section, the full citation, um, and you can do that um, on Google Scholar. And then whenever I'm ready to actually write my paper, I can just copy and paste that uh, directly into it and then use bullet points to go over the main ideas. So sometimes I'll even just leave a very simple um, note to myself saying that, you know, this article does list the 10 basic ideas of CSCL, um, and then I can return to that article when I'm writing my paper if I need something specific. Um, on the other hand, I will use yellow um, to signal to myself that, yes, I have identified an article or a potential article, um, and that's you know maybe located in Google Drive as well, but I haven't had a chance to go over it and see if it's actually applicable to what I'm trying to do in my paper. So that is just one way to use Google Slides aside from the traditional way um, or what you might be familiar with. You can definitely check out our channel to go over um, some other sort of tech hacks. So thank you for watching.